Welcome back to Web3 TV. I'm Cristina Najera, and today we are at the Coin Telegraph event at CMCC with Arto from Asimov. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. A little hard to hear you over all the noise, but uh, mostly I hear you. I'm very happy to have you. Would you like to start sharing more about you and what you do? Uh, sure. Uh, so I'm the co-founder of uh, Haltia AI, uh, one of the leading AI companies uh, in Dubai. Wow. Would you like to share more about the company? Uh, sure. So we are we are currently organizing the top AI meetup in the city. Uh, that's on Friday, November 1, for the next uh, iteration. Uh, do come. You can find it on meetup. Uh, and uh, we are engaged in uh, various pilot projects with the government of the UAE and uh, uh, other large entities in the country. Wow. Oh, what's the project about? Uh, Haltia makes uh, a very private, trustworthy AI. Uh, because you you know the problem with ChatGPT and the like is do you really want to send all of your personal data to America to some corporation who's going to leak it all over the place? How did you start your crypto journey? Uh, second. How did you start your crypto journey? I still can't hear you. How did you start in crypto? Oh, how did I get started in crypto? Oh, that goes a long way back. So I was into digital currencies even prior to Bitcoin. So I got started with eGold back in 1998, I believe. Um, and then when Bitcoin came along, I was mining Bitcoin on my home computer. And uh, I moved to Berlin where, where we had a sort of a Bitcoin community going on in 2010, 2011. Uh, so I was part of uh, the creation of Ethereum over there. Uh, and the, let's say the heydays of Bitcoin in terms of uh, a neighborhood where you could pay uh, for uh, burgers, beer, wine, anything with uh, Bitcoin. I don't think that uh, exists today, but... Uh, Back in 2013, we had all the media covering us over there. And what are the latest trends on crypto now? Oh, well, that's a good question. Uh, I think that uh, from my point of view, um, I'm, a, I'm a little tired of the current state of crypto, as in we have uh, attracted um, uh, a lot of um, uh, grifters and scammers, so we are getting a bad reputation. Um, and uh, this, this often uh, overshadows the actual projects that are providing value. So uh, I think it's a bit of a mixed bag on uh, how we are perceived in the world. What's your favorite cryptocurrency? Oh, well, Bitcoin, of course. What else could it be? I'm not a Bitcoin maxi, but uh, uh, Bitcoin is the digital gold. Nice. And how about the event? How is it going? Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, been networking with uh, quite a lot of people. Um, I'd, I'd have to say that... Uh, it's, it's nice uh, to come to these crypto events in Dubai because I just walk around and everybody's, Arto, you're back. Uh, so, so it's kind of an easy thing for an introvert. I don't really have to seek out people. They come to me. That's nice. Can Web3 bring more freedom? Can what? Can Web3 bring more freedom? Uh, certainly. Uh, the, the whole point is that it's permissionless and trustless. Uh, so I'd say that, um, uh, let's say you are a teenager today. Uh, regardless of any restrictions on, on you working, uh, you would be able to earn uh, money online. And in fact, I know a lot of teenagers uh, working uh, in crypto. Wow, thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure having you here. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Remember to share this with your friends because everybody deserves to know more about Web3, AI, cryptocurrency, and blockchain. I'm Cristina Najera. See you next time.